So this week we're going to look at another classic point and shoot camera, probably my favorite category of 35 millimeter cameras. And this is the Nikon AF L35. It's kind of an iconic camera now, and it's kind of have a culty um, following just because of it lo its looks. And it also I've heard takes really great pictures. On the front of the camera, you're going to see the right of the lens is this little um, sh um, switch right there. And when you pull down the switch, you're able to change ASA. Also, in normal shooting mode, when you pull down the switch, you, it's an ex accident exposure compensation, which is a pretty cool feature for a camera like this. Here is the um, self-timer right there. Let's pull it right there. On the top of the camera, you're going to see the on and off switch. Also, shutter release. So this camera is kind of clunky. It's old and it's very 80s and it's very plasticky, but it's kind of in the same vein as the Yashica TF, these kind of point and shoots. And they're easy to use, they're all automatic. Um, this is the back of the camera. But when the ones that do take great pictures, it's pretty cool because they're really cheap and you can find these anywhere almost. On the bottom, you can see that's the rewind mechanism. To the right, that's the batteries. It takes two AA batteries, so very convenient if you run out of batteries while shooting. So on the back here, we're going to simply open it real quick. So to insert your film, you're just going to place it in upside down and then pull the film to the right into the spools. Again, this is a totally automatic camera. So all you have to do is pull it over and then you're going to have to close the back and it'll start winding. It actually won't wind the whole roll. It'll just increment it. So now you're going to see I hit the shutter. So about when you're done shooting, turn it upside down. And it actually has a cool feature, so um, a lock so you don't accidentally do it. You're going to first push the rewind number one to the right, and then you hit number two, and it'll start automatically rewinding. Once it's done, you'll be able to hear it. It just won't wind anymore. You're going to open the back and then take it out. So this is a camera I see all the time, this, and you see many different variants, and I think this is the one you want. It has a 1.28, has a 2.8 lens, 35 millimeter, and it's the first, and there's also all these other variants after it. But I probably wouldn't pay more than $10. I see this camera come up a lot, and usually in bad condition because of the plastic body. So those are the drawbacks to it, and those are things you should look out for. But a pretty cool camera, just even have it in your collection. So like this video, subscribe to my channel. Thanks.